Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing my first Q&A video. So thank you girls for sending me the questions. I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as possible without waffling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get straight into the first question. So the first question came from Addicted to Nail Art and she wanted to know how I came to have my passion for doing nails. And it came from watching Miss Jen Fabulous's videos. She did nail art for beginners and that's where it all started from really. She kind of did really fantastic looking designs which were quite simple to do when she broke it down. And that's what got me into them. So thank you Miss Jen Fabulous. So the second question came from Crystal Rod Rodriguez. Sorry if I said that wrong. She wanted to know how I got into doing this. Um, obviously if you meant nail art then I answered that in the first question. But if you meant into how I did like YouTube videos. It was actually my husband who said about doing it. Uh, he came back from work one day and said about me doing nail art tutorials and after I laughed for about five minutes and then realised he was being serious, um, he kind of convinced me that I was good at what I did and people would kind of want to see my videos and I just thought, well, what the heck, what have I got to lose? If if I try it and people like what they see, then great. Um, but if I try it and they don't, well, then, you know, nothing's lost. So yeah, thanks to my hubby. So my third question was from May Nail Design and she wanted to know if I had the opportunity to do a nail club with anyone that inspires me, who would it be? And I think it would just have to be Miss Jen Fabulous because it was her designs that kind of got me into doing it in the first place. I know it sounds like I'm really plugging Miss Jen Fabulous but yeah I'd be so chuffed if I did a collab with her. The fourth question was from Chris Thorne and she wanted to know if I had any other hobbies besides nail art and if so what are they? And uh, although I don't, I don't do a lot of them now, I did love looms and making loom charms. So if you <laughs> know, if you watch my videos, you know I love Little Miss Mermaid. So I had to do these loom bands. So obviously this is meant to represent Ursula. So I was really chuffed with her because she took a long time to make. And then this is Little Mermaid. I didn't come up with these designs myself. Uh, I actually copied somebody off YouTube. I can't remember the name to hand, but I'll put it across the screen at some point. Go and watch her videos. She's absolutely amazing and they look fantastic. So yeah, so this was Triton, Triton even. And he had his like, um, I love the fact that the beard and the hair was like separate. It wasn't stuck to the body. And then you've got Sebastian and Flounder. So I know Flounder looks a little bit mashed, but hey, it was my first attempt at these things. And then also you could make like loom bracelets. So here's some of the ones that I made. This kind of reminded me a bit of a snake. And then with these ones, I thought they were snazzy because like here there's yellow bands in the middle and then there's green. Can you see that there? And I think these are the same. It's like green in the middle and then you turn it over and it's blue. I kind of just love anything that's creative really, um, I love things like that, I love reading, you know, just usual hobbies I suppose. And then question number five came from Vicky Priest and it's what is your first name? I've had quite a lot of people wanting to know personal details, it's just not something that I'm ready to sort of give, up, give away at the moment. I hope that you understand and kind of respect my privacy a little bit. I just don't want to give out any personal details. I'm really sorry. I hope you understand. I hope I don't mean to be rude. It's just that's how I feel. So this question came from Bees Nails and it was in two parts and she wanted to know if I recommend gels and if so, what brands would I recommend on a tight budget? These are the polishes that I got when I was first starting out with gels. Obviously I recommend gels because I use them. Um, and these were really good for a, a sort of low cost um, polish. I mean, obviously they come from China, so it may take a while. That's the con of it. It can take up to like a month for delivery. Um, but I kind of use these a lot recently. They are really good polishes. Uh, in the UK, uh, here you can get them for just under four pounds. So I think that's a good price. So it depends really on how tight your budget is. Um, but obviously, because I live in the UK, these are, are delivered quicker as well. And the second thing she wanted to know was what are my favourite stamping polishes because the ones that, that she used to buy from has gone out of business. So you will have seen that I obviously use these in my videos. I totally recommend these. I know you wanted to know specifically about the black and white and that these both stamp really, really well. And again, uh, I'll put all details to where you can get these things in the description box below. I also have tried Moyu ones. Uh, I haven't tried the white one, but I've tried the black one. Uh, these two are actual stamping polishes, but these two aren't. They're regular polishes, but still stamp well. But these are a bit more pricier. Although well, these say Moyu, I didn't actually get them from Moyu. This was something that I got from Amazon, and again, they were um, good polishes. 
I've also tried Conad polishes and yeah, very impressed. I probably wouldn't bother with this little one uh, just because it's so little. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but these will stamp well and you get them from eBay. I've got these as well. I think these are my first stamping polishes that I've got. You get these six for about £10, which were a really good price. So question number seven was from Nashu Tutorials and she said, what do you like most about nail art? I think I like the fact that there is so much variety. Uh, you know, what you can do with nail art nowadays is absolutely fantastic. There are so many talented girls out there on YouTube. They absolutely blow my mind with their talent. So yeah, so I think that's what I really like, the fact that you can just do so much now with nail art, it's, it's just amazing. So question number eight came from Cosquill, Cosquell Nails. What type of nail design do you prefer, stamping or freehand? This was a really good question because I kind of like both, but for different reasons. I love stamping because obviously it's so quick and the intricate designs are amazing. So I just love how quickly you can have fantastic looking nails with stamping, but I also really like the challenge of freehand because I never know how it's going to uh, you know, turn out. So when I'm successful with the freehand, I kind of feel more satisfied. But I think if I was to have to pick one, I think I'd just pick stamping just because of how quick and uh, all the amazing things you can do with, with stamping nowadays. So question number nine came from Nail Art Newbie. She wanted to know when I first started painting my nails, phew, that must have been about, what, early teens? That's when I started painting my nails. And when did I start getting into nail art? Well, that was probably about a year ago when I started watching Miss Jen Fabulous's videos. And the last question was from Stephanie Chanley and she wanted to know what nail care routine I had and if I had any tips. Um, so yeah, so when I take my gel polish off, these are the products that I use. Um, I use these clips here, which I think are absolutely amazing. And um, I use Gelux Profile Remover and Prep and Wipe. Um, and, and don't use anything cheap, I've used cheap in the past and it's trash my nails. So these are a bit more pricier, but they're well and truly worth their money. So that's what I use to take my polish off. But as regards uh, products that I use to kind of like take care of my nails. I have this glass vial from Leighton Denny. I totally recommend it. You can kind of use it both ways across your nail and it's like really fine. Um, so that's an amazing nail file. And um, this product here is a must have. It's a, it, can, it, it is pricey, but it's amazing at renovating your nails after you've took the gels off. Um, I just, yeah, totally, totally recommend it. And I always kind of give my nails 24 hours um, after I've taken them off. Not that they particularly need to breathe, but I just use, I kind of just want to give them a bit of a break. So then I can put these like moisturising um, cuticle oils and different things on my nails to kind of strengthen them and moisturise them and put that moisture back into my nails because I do naturally have weak nails. And then, yeah, I just sort of buff and file it like generally you would really. Um, I try and keep my nails short. Um, just because then they don't break but it's not as easy to break so yeah so that's my tips really <laughs> I don't know if there's any tips in there but I hope they helped so thanks girls for all the questions I really hope you enjoyed listening to the answers please like comment and subscribe to my videos and to my channel evening and thank you so much for watching bye